Today we're going to be fishing in Albion Online with a few things. Now, I don't have premium, that's thing number one. Thing number two is it's 25% fishing yield and fame day for the next three days. Oh man, three days of fishing. What a nightmare. I am a tier 7 fisherman. I'm going to use the pork pie because that does give us more fish. And I'll be using the mists tier 7 fishing journals. And the video ends when we reach a million silver. This is gonna be... F Ugh, I am not wanting to do this, but hey, uh, I know you're curious if fishing is good. This is on West, by the way. And I checked fishing prices, the fishing market right now, at least in Bridgewatch. They are about 20 to 30% higher than normal, and that is because... Well, because it's like fishing... Be because the, the fishing, it's fishing fame day, everyone's buying fish so they can level up their fishing, so it's a really good time to sell fish uh, for those that want to fish. It's just a really good time. The estimated market value will reflect this price. I've already checked. So this is one of the best times to actually show you how long it takes to make a million silver in the best circumstances. And I keep <laughs> not casting far enough, but uh, there's a few uh, little tricks that you can utilize. Now, I'm fishing in the mist for the rare mist fish. They are worth way more. When I've done tests in the past, uh, fishing in the mists has given me more silver per hour than doing it in yellow zones. Now, this is a yellow zone mist. I'm not fishing in lethal zones. Of course not. This is not a lethal zone channel. You guys know this. And uh, you'll notice that I'm doing a, um, a little slide after I catch a fish. I'm using the Spite Gauntlet's uh, second Q spell. Which, what this does is it cancels the animation of me celebrating catching a fish. Let me show you what that looks like. So, you, you have that big pullback, and then, uh, there's like a little delay before you can cast your, your, uh, fishing line again. But as soon as I catch the fish, I can break that animation by sliding forward, and then immediately casting out the line once again. There we go. And also, another trick that people taught me in the comments from my previous videos is that even though there's not a fishing circle anymore on screen... You can still fish in that area for a little bit, and you'll be guaranteed some fish. So we're going to be utilizing all these tricks today to see how long it takes to make 1 million silver. And, uh, you know, our, our, our estimated market value is 7.4 million. So we should really stop when we're at 8.4 million-ish, about. Uh, now, it's going to take a while to fill these journals up, and these journals are worth about 75,000 silver each. So, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> We'll see if I can tolerate doing this for... I'm going to I'm going to call it and say about two hours. That um, That's how long this will take. <laughs> now, I don't know if my hand can handle this because I I do not like the fishing minigame at all. I think the fishing minigame is just atrocious. I like my hand is already freaking cramping. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm gripping the mouse too tight. Like, in, like I'm actually fishing. Like, oh, got to get the fish. Oh... You know, I haven't fished in real life since I was six years old, and I didn't know what I was doing then. I did catch fish, though, um, so uh, apparently I was taught well, or the fish were just, I don't know, very hungry at the time. I'm not really sure what's what. I don't know anything about fishing where I'm from. There's, like, no reason to fish. There's also a lot of laws preventing you from fishing unless you are... You go to a school, and you get a certification, and you get a license, and... I and mean, even then, if you don't own the land, you're, like, stealing the fish. So, like, I don't live near an ocean or anything. So I can't just, like, go out and un into a boat and, like, go grab some fishies. So you'll see here that this fish is not moving. It's not struggling when I release the line. So this is not a fish. This is a log or a rock. And I'm just going to let it go. So time to move on to the next little part of the water. And hopefully because it just started with fishing day that not everyone is out, out here fishing... We shall see. I, I think that's hitting the circle. I think that that counts. So I think we're good there. But like on this fish, you'll see that when I let go of the line, it starts to f swim away. So that means you know that it's alive. You know it's not like a rock or a log. And uh, yes, we are leveling up our fishermen. Oh, speaking of, um, you know, there's something I need to do real quick. I'm going to turn on auto learn. There we go. And on Fisherman here, because we just hit 20%, I'm going to use my learning points. That's right, I am using my learning points to max out fishing. we got a long way to go. I'm going to turn on Auto Learn there. And, uh, yes, so I am, well, way overcast. Let's try again. <laughs> Still overcast. There we go. All right. 
Let's catch some fishies and level up our fishing while we're doing it. So yeah, I'm doing this, you know, to see the silver per hour, but I wouldn't mind having 100 fishing. It, I don't think it would be that much of a difference, but it's uh, it'll it'll definitely help, you know. And it's the last gathering profession that I I need to level up anyway, so I might as well do it. Might as well get it leveled up. You can see the progress here on the right side. Fisherman, 0%. It, it takes quite a while to, to, to get to that 20% mark. Quite a while. Now, you can't faction flag in the mists. And I, I compared faction flagging in tier 5 yellow zones versus mist fishing. And mist fishing clearly won. I can also... I, I can go after objectives on the map if I want to. I'm not using PvP armor. I do have an 8.4, you know, spike gauntlet. So if there's just like flat 4.1 players running around, I could probably punch their lights out and grab the objective, but it's whatever. Uh, my gripe with the new upcoming mist changes is that yellow zones don't give might and favor, and to get the new stuff, you need might and favor. Like if you want the, uh, the Brazilian energy, you know, <laughs> energy chug bottles from Fortnite. Uh, for those that have seen the test realm, I don't know what they're called. Okay, yeah, that's clearly not a fish. So we can release the line there and move on to the next fishing hole. Which hopefully there are some here. There's, there's not a lot of water on this map. So we probably won't spend too much time here. Oh, mist is closing. That's fine. We can catch some fishies. Also, I can use my armor ability, which gives like a bonus to something. I forget. I'll look at it in a sec here. And we way overcast it on that one, but hey, we, we got an instant bite anyway. This one's a fighter. Oh boy. So, some fishing techniques. You can rapidly, like, click and let go of the line so that your bobber is all the way to the left. Uh, that does work. So, let's see what this does. Fishing speed by 29% for 12 seconds. So, not that big of a, of, a, of a bonus, but let's see. I can get my bobber all the way to the right before the line snaps. Then I can, I'll show you, click, let go, click, let go, like that. And that prevents the fish from escaping, but it gives me a lot of line on the bobber here. And then I can, uh, just reel them in. Clear haze snapper, that's what we want to see. That is the fish that we want. Also, I, I want to mention that if I find uncommon, rare, or legendary mists, that I can get up to a tier 7 zone and fish tier 7 fish from a yellow zone. Which is really awesome. Unless they fix that. I don't think they patched that out. I haven't fished in a while. So for all I know, maybe they, they finally fixed that. But who knows? <laughs> Where are we at? We were at four point or 7.4, so we've made only 20,000 in 8 minutes. Oh god. Oh god. What have I done? What have I signed myself up for? Well, <laughs> we're going to make that million silver <laughs> eventually, right? Spotted Trout X3. Yes, that's a good one. 7. 7.42, 7.42, and the double seaweed. See, if we if we get that the entire time, you know, that's not bad. That might be pretty good. White frog snapper received 2x. I haven't actually, I didn't check the tier 5 market. Yeah, that's, no, I don't want to, dang it, I didn't want to equip it. Seaweed is not what it used to be. Back in the day, seaweed used to be in extreme high demand. But, not so much anymore. Oh well. All right, Albion Perch 3x. I like these 3x catches. It feels like I have premium active, even though I don't. It's the, the you know, this is the one week where the gathering bonus actually helps you, <laughs> unlike the other professions. Like, you can actually feel it when you're fishing. All right, so this mist closes in two minutes. That's fine. I could run around and just grab a mist. Or, uh, like, it's going to move me back to a yellow zone, and there's plenty of mists just floating around in the zone. Now, for the mount choice, I am using the Carleon Rabbit here. Still for sale, by the way. If anyone wants to buy it from me, you know. It's got Crafted by Swole Benji. It's got my signature on it. I know some of you guys are collectors of streamer equipments and stuff. And <laughs> so, if anyone wants one, that is not a fish. All right, let's go. Next, uh, next watering hole. I don't want to fight, but I'll just punch him in the face. There we go. The little dryad plant creature tried to mess with me while I rip fish out of the water. Why are you defending nature? <laughs> I need this fish to, to, to get premium. I like doing the sideway fish. Look at this. It's like you get the line one way 
I don't- it, it's just a weird animation glitch when you slide and cast. I don't think I casted far enough there, but we'll, we'll get it anyway. Even though my buff is going away before the bite happens, so kind of a wasted armor buff. But yeah, you, you can see it, it doesn't really feel like it's faster when I'm reeling this in. So yeah, this, this is definitely a bite. It was fighting back a bit there. Spotted Trout X2. One minute, ten seconds until the mist closes, guys. Maybe I should have a mist counter on the screen. Like, how many mists that I've entered. Eh, it's really kind of irrelevant. But. And I know some people are like, Why don't you do this in Black Zone? Because you get ganked in Black Zone, you get killed in Black Zone. I don't want to... Bros, I don't want to stare at my screen the whole time. Especially when I'm trying to film a video and talk. Do you know how little attention I'm paying to the game right now? <laughs> Like, almost none. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm paying attention to the little fish indicator. But, that's about it. Okay, we got 30 seconds. The mists are getting thicker. You know, it's, it's uh, getting foggy up in here. We might be able to get one more. I think this is it. Yeah, we got like 20 seconds to catch this fish before we get booted out. Alright, there we go. So far, how much have we earned in 11 minutes? Uh, 8,000. 12... Uh, what was that? 28, 35, 45, about 50,000 silver in 11 minutes. Oh, God. Ugh. Dang. About 200 minutes. Alright. I want to get to an area where there's a couple, um, little mist wisps. I don't know what to call them. Wis yeah, they're just wisps. Like, where there's at least two, like, that spawn next to each other, so that I can just bounce in and out between them, if there's, like, no water. So, the reason I chose the bunny is because of the really fast gallop. What was that? We'll just go in this one. It was opened. I don't know. It has to be curious. It's like, hey, come on in, bro. Let's see. yeah, this is what we want. You want a river. Uh, the river maps are the best ones. Absolutely the best. The ones that are just like on the outskirts, the, the ponds, are not so good. Because these you can cast, like your casting time is, is shortened. There's going to be a lot of fish down this river. It's just, these are the ones you want to see. Yes, we are fishing. Getting the fishies. Whoops, I looked away and failed. See, this is why I hate fishing, because it's, uh, you have to pay a little bit more attention to the screen than other gathering, and that is no bueno for me. That is, I don't know. I like to watch stuff on my other monitors. I like to look around and, and do, do other things, but nope, you gotta keep your eyes kind of glued to the screen for this one. And yes, I know there's programs you can use to, like, capture your screen and, and look at it, you know, elsewhere and stuff. But, uh, I, I'm not, I don't care about that stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it. SBI doesn't like me talking about that kind of stuff. And no, I'm not talking about botting. I'm not talking about botting. Of course not. Don't bot. It. You'll get banned. No, it's like, like a program that you can take a part of your screen and display it on another monitor. And you can display it on top of whatever it is you're watching. So you'd be watching a movie and you could just have the part of your screen that's a fish bobber be on top of the movie you're watching. <laughs> So you don't have to, like, look at the game, you can just look at the fish bopper. I don't know, it's... There's also one where it's, like, a picture in picture. Ah, dang it, I right-clicked. That's another thing, too. Is sometimes my hand will get heavy, and I will... Ah, frick. I'll right-click, which moves your character and cancels the fishing animation. I hate that. That is super annoying. This is, like, I've been messing up here already. We're, like, 14 minutes in, and my hand is giving out. <laughs> Maybe if you're young and spry and you enjoy, uh, you know, you enjoy yourself some fishing, you know, but, but I don't. This is torture. I am doing this so that you, the viewer, can know that fishing, not so good. Not so good for a safe zone gathering, okay? Like, I made the, I made a video, like, for, for this, sp oh, I almost snapped the line there. For this series, I guess, I don't know what to call it, you know, we started with a brand new character. And we skinned on that brand new character, and it took almost five hours to get a million silver. It was like four hours and 40 minutes or something, I think. 
And then I made a video where I skinned on my main character, or my gathering main character, and it took an hour and like 11 minutes to make a million without premium. And now we're fishing on a specific fishing day. That's not a fish. All right, we can move on. Uh, let's see, that might be overcast, but maybe. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell if it's touching the water or not. Okay, yeah, that's that doesn't count. You can. <laughs> I mean, this it's still a fish, so we'll go ahead and get it. All right, we got the fish buff. We got everything going. Yeehaw. Man, fishing is so boring, guys. I don't know how to make this any entertaining at all. Tell a story or something. Maybe I should only film these when I'm more in a more talkative state. <laughs> or maybe fishing just takes it out of me, you know? It's like you can be, you can have that youthful energy, you can be happy, you can be talkative, you can be, you know, hype. But I, I'm just not hype for this. Like, that's one of the secrets to being a YouTuber. Is okay. Secret number one for being a YouTuber: What is something that you could sit and talk about fanatically for hours on end? Right? Like if you sat me down with a bunch of strangers at a dinner table, how awkward that would be. I could I could talk about Albion Online the whole freaking night. I, I can talk your ear off. I can be like, oh, Albion Online is your multiplayer MMORPG, where you get to troll people and gank them and corpse camp them, and guilds will murder you with like 20 people, and you could run them around and waste their time for your 4.1 gear. You know, that's the real advertisement, right? So if you want to be a YouTuber, <laughs> and who doesn't these days, right? Who wants to work a normal job? Unless you get one of those fancy high-paying jobs, I suppose. But, uh... <laughs> like, to be a YouTuber, yeah, you just need to be fanatical about something. You just need to be hype. You just need to be able to, like, sit at a table and, and discuss whatever topic it is that you want to talk about for hours on end without stopping. That's the real secret, you know? Yeah, the, the video editing and the filming and, and, and the speaking and all that crap. That, that comes later. Don't worry about that. This feels all fished out because it's taking forever to bite. Let's look at our money. 7.46. Oh, oh, this mist is already closing. What the heck? No. Well, let's check the fish. And yeah, okay. If, if there's heavy resistance on the fish line, then... Uh, it's probably, you know, just a rock or something. Alright, we got a bunch of little fishies here we can yoink out of the water and consume. So you'll notice that my fishing level, we're at 5% out of 20. So yeah, it does take some time to level up. And yes, I'm aware I'm not slide canceling every time. That's because, um, <laughs> that's because I'm lazy. Alright, I don't, I don't have any excuses. I am a lazy fisherman. Here, I'll, I'll go try hard the next one, alright? We'll, we'll try hard this one, alright. So, animation cancel slide into armor usage, into bite, into, you know, double reel, reel them in in the green zone, green zone fishing lads. Slide cancel into, we had the care, or, or, no, I don't have a Carleon cape, I have an undead cape in case someone wants the yellow zone gank, which I've never seen in the mists, other than me doing it. Speaking of the mists, I wanted to do some test realm like uh, data collection, but ever since they did that little tournament, the test realm has been down. I haven't been been able to connect to it for some reason. So there was something I really wanted to see because they're adding. Look, I know it's pronounced cash, all right, but uh, I'm I'm gonna say cache because there are people who don't speak English as a primary language that that's that's how they read it in their brain when they when they see it on paper. That's not a fish. When they when they see the word C A S H E, cash, they, they don't say cash in their brain. They say cache. So I'm gonna say cache so they know what I'm talking about because there are people that when I say cash, they're thinking of money. All right. So the cache system, I need to test that in yellow zones to see if it's worth doing or not. Because currently, like fame farming in a mist yellow zone, absolutely not worth it at all. Like you're just better off doing open world. But because of the change, 
Because you can, you can get treasure from them too, right? So you can't really test getting treasure in the test realm unless, um... Well, you kind of, sort of can. If the, if you have the test realm to yourself, you go to the cheat stone in Caerleon, and then you get a bunch of tier 5 and through tier 7 just items, just random items. You load up a mammoth. Then you take it over to the, uh, the black market merchant, you sell it all. Then you go fame farm, and then you see how much of that stuff you get back. And, uh... <laughs> So, yeah, because the black market is based on, you know, that that's how you get item drops. I am, like, fishing way out here, and the circle was over here, but it's fine. See, so we've got two minutes remaining. Now, I think with the timer is started, that it might be more beneficial just to fish the fish circles, so I might start doing that. You know, there's a lot of small little variables that we could, like, account for, I guess. Let's see. We can st We can still fish more here. We can still fish more here, but yeah, I want to. I, I want to. I want to run the caches in the yellow zones and see how profitable they are. I want to see. Oh, we got. What is, oh, are you fishing too? Yeah, you. No, he's he's a lumberjack, a skinner, and yeah, he's he's double lumberjack skinner. What a what a fun combo. You know what? Let's just let's hop in this one. See if it's got a river. That's what's mo most important is the river river mists. Oh, hell yeah. Also, it's got a skinning section, but it's probably not tier 5. I could go do that real quick. Like, I, I did bring all of my tools. I know this is primarily a fishing video, but if there are enchanted stuff, I'm gonna grab them. That's just how it is. I need to test something real quick with fishing. I'm gonna try using my armor ability while I'm fishing to see if that cancels the fish animation. So, I might lose a fish here, but we're gonna see. Alright, let's cast our armor. Yeah, it cancels it. That's stupid. You know what would be a really cool fishing power? If when you used your armor ability, it just automatically caught that fish. That would be so cool. I would fish way more often, that is a way more fun thing. SBI doesn't watch my videos, so they'll never hear it from me, but... Maybe one day, you, the viewer, might get a job at Sandbox Interactive, part of the, uh, you know, like, item rebalance team or something, right? And, uh, and you, you will remember this video that you watched, and you'll be like, you know what, I, I remember Swole Benji, that, that idea was a, a really good one. And, uh, and you'll put it in the game, and then you'll get a raise, and then you'll become the CEO, and then you can be like, hey, let's unmute Soul Benji <laughs> 20 years later. That, that, you know, that, that's just, uh, how it is. One day, future generations of me, which there won't be future generations of me, unfortunately. I'm sorry, guys. I, uh, like, the bloodline ends with me. I'm that selfish. <laughs> no, I'm just that poor. But, um, you know, 177 years until we get unmuted, guys. <laughs> that would be so weird, like, someone in the future, hey, Soul Benji gets unmuted today. <laughs> or whatever virtual, mind-bending 4D Twitter exists. Who knows what the future will hold? I bet it's going to be terrible. Have in, uh, serious question. Have any of you woke up lately in the current year, 2023, or maybe e even in 2022, and thought to yourself, what a horrible future we live in, you know? Like, um, I, I was reading a news story the other day, and there is a McDonald's they opened that has no people at all. There are zero humans at this McDonald's, Okay. And I'm sitting here thinking, how the hell does that work? Where the hell is this McDonald's located, okay? It's like, uh... I don't know if you've seen the news lately, but, like, th there, there's people running around smashing, like, Walmarts and Targets and Walgreens and stuff. They go in there by the hundreds, and they smash everything, and they snatch everything, and... And the stuff that they can't carry or they don't want to carry, they just break. You know, they're snapping, like, uh... The... <laughs> fire sprinkler lines and flooding the stores and stuff, and they're sh the stores are shutting down, and then the people are like, oh, you shouldn't shut down, you should stay open, how am I going to feed my family? It's like, well, if you own the business, why would you stay open when you're losing millions of dollars in damages and theft every, like, week? That's insane. You can't stay open with when the police won't do anything, when the... <laughs> When, you know, the government won't step in and put a stop to it. This might not be a fish. Oh, it was. 
Oh boy, fishing. It's what everyone wants to do in their life. Pull living creatures from their habitat and then consume them. I mean, I get it, we're the apex predators of the planet, at least as far as we know. There might be some lizard people living in the center of the planet, you know? They might crawl out every once in a while and grab some humans. <laughs> oh. What am I saying? So, because this one took a while to catch, because it's got a heavy resistance, and it's not moving, that's not a fish. We can just... We can just scoot on over to the next little, little fishy hole here. And... There we go. Getting more fishes. Fishing time. <laughs> you guys ever play a game called Baldi's Basics? It's it's a math learning game. Yeah, it's a math learning game. And um, y y y the way it works is you're in school and you have your teacher. His name is Baldi. He's a bald guy. He's got like one hair on his head. He's wearing like a green t-shirt. And, uh, you know, he asks you a math question. He's like, you're doing great. Here's a shiny quarter. Right? But it turns out that it's not quite a math game. It's it's actually a horror game. Where, um, you get asked an impossible math question, which angers Baldi. And then he will attack you with his ruler. And you have to run throughout the school. And there's other interesting characters that you will face off against. You have... Uh, the school bully, who will, um, I, for I forget what all the characters do. Uh, but one of them is, like, the hall monitor, and he's like, uh-uh-uh, no running in the halls, and then he puts you in detention. And you can't leave the detention room until the timer runs out. There's a girl that makes you do jump ropes with her, and holds you in place until you finish the mini game. And remember, Baldi is chasing you around the school, and if he gets to you, you die, or something. I, I assume you die. I mean, he's very serious about his math teaching. <laughs> But the goal is to escape the school, and you have to unlock doors by answer or not answering the math questions, which makes Baldi angrier and faster. And uh, you know how most horror games have like a sound, like, like say Resident Evil 2, you have Mr. X or Nemesis, I forget exactly what he's called, but you hear him stomping around, you know, the precinct as you run around the, the, the police station, and he'll crash through walls and get you, right? Well, Baldi's Basics has the snapping of his ruler, or yardstick, I forget exactly what it is, which he, you know, slaps in his hand, and uh, the angrier he is, the more he slaps, and the faster he walks towards you. But there, it, it, there's a stealth mechanic to it. Baldi doesn't always know where you're at. If you open doors or make sounds, or he sees you, then yeah, he'll follow you, but you can, you can lose him. And, uh, I think you can, like, use that quarter he gives you at the start of the game to, like, buy an energy drink or something to move faster. Are there any Baldi's Basics fans in the chat? Does anyone even know what I'm talking about? It's just, like, a little, really cheap little free game you could play. <laughs> uh, good times. This rabbit is very interested in the fish. It's, like, a, it's my, it's my fishing partner, right? Like, you can... You can pick any mount in the game, but this this rabbit here, he's chilling, man. He is a chill rabbit. That's yeah, that's a fish actually. It's it's scooting along nicely. It's gliding along in the water. It's not dragging against the bottom. How filled is our journal? Oh, I maybe mean, I should have bought more journals. Dang, I'm, am I gonna fill this journal in 30 minutes? I thought it took 45 minutes to fill these. That's not terrible, I guess. It's not bad. Good thing I brought two of them, you know. There's a lot of fish in this little hole here. White Fog Snapper. What do you think is the tastiest fish in Albion? Is it the sturgeon? So, <laughs> oh, that's not a fish. Let's move on. All right, so I always get crap for this because I always mispronounce words. But how do you guys pronounce the word salmon? Do you pronounce it salmon or salmon? Right? Is the L silent? Is it really silent? Man, this is all fished up. There's like people here, they're all fishing too. They had the same idea as me, except I'm taking it one step further and fishing for a YouTube video and I can't talk. I, I keep hiccuping or something. Guys, help me. I know it's a YouTube video, but you gotta help. Oh no, the tree is angry. Don't attack my rabbit. Tricks are for kids.
Guys, I'm reminiscing about an old uh, YouTube video. It's a parody of a Mentos commercial, right? It's like a kid, it, it, like the Mentos theme starts playing and he like beats someone up. He starts to punch them in the face. And then he, he eats the Mentos, like it makes it all okay, makes it all better. I don't know. Old internet, old YouTube was great, right? There was like some video about a guy and he like had a bunch of shoes and that's all the lyrics were was like shoes. And then there was like a little ditty tune in the background and then he would say shoes again and show off the shoes. There was the old Smosh, you know, where they would sing the Pokemon theme song. What happened? Uh, okay, I actually kind of know what happened with the Smosh guys. They got into a, a like, ooh, whoops. They got into like a little contract where the contract people like took all of their earnings basically. So they were working for basically clout and no money at all, which really sucks. And then, uh, you know, I, I think they grew apart. You know, it seems like a lot of YouTubers that like a, almost all of them that I've ever watched have grown apart. First off, like Epic Mealtime. Do you guys remember Epic Mealtime? <laughs> The early days of Epic Mealtime were some of my favorites. Man, <laughs> those videos are just legendary. Like, I, I'm never going to forget, uh, like, those those old episodes. Muscles, glasses, mashing taters like he's mashing haters. And then the background music. Oh, jeez. Good times. But apparently, you know, like, some drama happened between, like, some of the co-owners of the channel and, and some other stuff. And there's a fish flop in there, but there's no one fishing. So that's a little spooky. And, uh, yeah, so, like, not only that, there was another channel, uh, it was called, like, Super Best Friends Play. That, that was a big one. That, it was, like, three dudes, I think four dudes at some point. Um, <laughs> and they played video games, you know, it was this little Let's Play channel, where they would put out a video a day, which was crazy at the time. Only, like, PewDiePie was putting out one video a day. I mean, I was a YouTuber at the time. Not on this channel, of course, and I was putting out maybe one or two videos a month, Right? Because I had a real life job, I didn't have the hustle, I didn't, like, I had a really slow computer also, like, <laughs> even when I started this channel, my computer was ancient. Like, my old World of Warcraft videos, what the heck? Why is this, is this a fish? This might, there's no way this is a log already. Okay, it is, what the hell? I only fished one fish out of that hole, weird. But, um, yeah, like, like, they were a thing, and then, I forget what happened, but they broke apart, and they went their separate ways. Just, it's like every YouTube channel that, you know, has multiple people die. Like, what about JonTron and frickin', oh, the Game Grumps. <laughs> uh, Ego Raptor, yeah, Ego Raptor and JonTron. I mean, yeah, they got, you know, the other guy now, I don't know his name, but. It's not the same without John Sean, guys. It just, it's just not. What YouTube duo do you guys miss? Because I know there's more. There's way more. I just... I can't think of them right now. I've got fish for brains. <laughs> oh, man. What did I sell? Oh, I bought River Sturgeon. Look at that. Because I wanted to flip it today. The uh, Here's the thing. River Sturgeon is up 28% in the market. Uh, but the buy order is not, and that didn't make a sound, but I saw it splash, and it apparently was a fish. So, lucky me, I guess. We're at 33 minutes in. How much silver have we made? Uh, I don't know, maybe 100k? I hope, I hope I've made more than 100k in 30 minutes. I, I ain't making it to a million this time, guys. <laughs> oh, see, this one's not, this one's being silent. I'm not able to hear... Maybe it's because I don't have my headphones in, right? I, uh, my right ear is... Um, I'm using it to judge how loud I am, so I'm not, like, disturbing the neighbors. <laughs> don't want to be screaming into my microphone. I wish I had a living arrangement where I could scream into, into the mic. I would, like, live stream every day and just scream. We, we wouldn't be playing Albion, though. We'd be playing some sort of online multiplayer game with voice chat. <laughs> and we would just be yelling, we'd be like, Rah! Just, just for fun, you know, just like scream and then run into the battle and attack. I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry for the dead air. I did not hydrate before doing this. I was just like, it's fishing day. Let's go.
Oh boy, out here fishing again. Why do some of these leaves have holes in them? Are they sick? Are they dying? Are they decaying? As a matter of fact, every leaf has two holes. Who designed these leaves? Why do, why do they have holes? You guys know the meme vid? It's a really ancient meme vid. It's a guy, he's at a shopping mall, and the mall is closed for some reason. And he's standing outside the front door. And he's like, why are you closed? You are supposed to be open, why are you closed? <laughs> why are you closed? Oh, we're going to this one. This is an uncommon mist. We can now maybe get higher tier fish. Yes, indeed. Now I have, I have. I'm gonna be real. I have not been looking at the mini map for objectives. I guess I don't care enough. <laughs> All right, uncommon time. What tier are we in? Still tier five. Dang. So, not really gonna catch any better fish here. But maybe we can find a rare, or a legendary, or an epic. Do you guys ever, uh, whenever you use the words like epic or legendary, do you ever, like, enunciate the word, like, really annoyingly? Go ahead and yoink that. It's an enchanted little thingamajig. Little thingy. I hear other people fishing, even though I don't see anybody. Maybe I'm, uh, PTSD fishing. I think that hit. I can't really see it, but, yeah, it looks like it did. It's like, a. <laughs> You know, you know the, the video game Hearthstone, whenever you would draw a legendary card from a pack, it would be like, LEGENDARY! I'll just be in random conversation and I'll say that. I'll be like, yo, I heard that movie was LEGENDARY. RARE. Like, you'll be at a grocery store, like, reading a package of meat and it's like, rare meat. Or like, you're ordering a steak, which I don't order steaks, that's too expensive, that's some rich people stuff. But uh, you'd be like, yes, I would like my steak rare. <laughs> and then the waiter's like, oh god, what is this guy? Who is this guy? I'm always like, I have this little secret worry that one day I'm going to go out in public and like, I don't know, let's just say the grocery store, right? And I'm like getting the groceries checked out and then the cashier's like, your voice sounds familiar. Are you swole, bitchy? And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> And then they'll be like, I'm from Reddit and I hate you. <laughs> Get out of my checker line. Manager to me. Get out of my store. I hate you. Die. And they pull out a gat. And they they just shoot me in the kneecaps. And I'm just on the floor bleeding out. Dying. And the last thing I hear is that I I hate your video, Swole Benji, as they uh, put one in between my eyes. I know, right? Who, who has an imagination like that? I have no idea. Hey, we did the journal. The journal took 37 minutes to fill, guys. 37 minutes. But we did it. We have a journal now. It's worth a little bit of monies. I don't have tier 7 housing anywhere. I thought about it. I, I was like, should I upgrade one of my houses to tier 8 and my, one of my guild halls to tier 8? But it's like, I would never use them. I don't do that kind of content. I don't do tier 8 crafting. I don't do tier 8 anything. I still see the point. Oh, we're doing the old look away strategy here. Whoa, this fish has got some big pool. That's fine. We got him, though. <laughs> it's like, you shouldn't joke about grocery stores like that. You know that happened before somewhere probably in America. It's like, no, it didn't happen. Some YouTuber didn't get killed for being a YouTuber. That, that's going to be that's going to happen one day. Someone out there. Someone is going to be so mad at a YouTuber that they just attack them in public. And uh, what if it's me? What if I get to be the honor of, like, being the first? That would be pretty cool. You know, be like, <laughs> this YouTuber trolled video games so much <laughs> that people took to the streets in real life. And then they go to trial and they're like, you have slain Swole Benji. And then the judge is like, yeah, well, he, was, he, he ganked me in the yellow zone once. So, uh, I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> and then the mayor shows up, it's like, gives you the key to the city. You know, and then a whole bunch of, like, girls show up and they're like, yay! <laughs> and then, um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, we're just having fun. Come on, I'm just playing around, I'm just being funny, I'm just being silly. Why are some Twitch streamers for this game so dang serious? The other day, I posted this on Twitter, um... I think it's like SwoleBingyYT is the Twitter account, but um, I, I, I posted, uh, I was on the test realm, and, I, and you, you can use a demo hammer 
to attack Game Master buildings that they spawned in for the event. And I waited till the event was over, of course. And I was just attacking the building, trying to see if any of the streamers that were hanging out nearby... Because, you know what, I recognize their names, I know who they are. And, um... <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, it's a little bit of heartburns, but... So I'm attacking a Game Master building nearby, and, I, and I'm checking their streams to see if they talk about it, or if they get offended, if they laugh, if they think it's funny. And, uh, most of them don't react, you know. Oh, well, that's a rough log. We don't want rough logs. Ew, gross. I'll throw it away in a sec. And it's been a sec. There we go. And, uh, only one of the streamers actually made a comment about it. I guess the other ones just choose to ignore me. Like, they see me doing it, but, like, they don't want to engage or something. But, no, this, this one in particular, he got really... He got upset. He's like, he's graving the game! Oh, no wonder no one likes him! This is why everyone hates you! And it's like... If people hate me because I'm taking a virtual hammer to a virtual building that would take an hour to to, to beat up, then that's on bro. That's on them. If someone hates me over doing uh, doing something stupid like that, that is their loss. That is that is on them, man. Like that doesn't bother bother me one bit. That it, it it works as a great filter. It's like people that that take things too seriously. I don't want to be friends with people that, that take things way too serious. I don't want to hang out with. I don't want to have to babysit their feelings. I don't want to. I don't want to have to like watch what I do or say around them, right? Like, who who wants to do that? And they don't want to be around me because uh, I'm not taking video games seriously. It's a freaking video game. Who cares, right? It's not against the rules. I'm allowed to do it. the The game lets me do it, and it's funny. It's you go to a game master little section on the test room and you see like some dudes smashing a building with hammers. Yeah, I know I talked earlier about dudes smashing targets and Walmarts with hammers, you know, and how they have to shut down, and that sucks, but guess what? It, this is Albion Online. It's a fake video game. It's a pixel building. I'm not real. I'm not really rioting and looting and destroying real property. I'm destroying test realm property that can be spawned instantly with a, com a slash, like, like a little chat command. And the Game Master teleported me away before I could even really do damage to the building anyway, so it's fine. I didn't, like, go back and keep doing it. You know, when a Game Master teleports you away from a place because you're doing something, it's like, well, if I keep pushing my luck, they'll probably ban me, and then, well, you know, back to, back to the streets, right? <laughs> In my case, at least. It's like, uh, hey, uh, the, the landlord is like, uh, you can't make rent this month? I'm like, yeah, I got banned on Albion Online. They're like, oh, that's a shame. Guess you can't make videos anymore. It's like, nope. Okay, we'll get out. Go go eat rats or something. Go eat some rotisserie rats. That's a thing in New York. Rotisserie rats. Oh, gross. You know, it's something that you would see in a movie and you would think it's just a freaking so ridiculously cartoonish that it can't be real. No, it's 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 real. <laughs> oh, man. Just the state of the world is oh, my pork pie ran out. I didn't eat a new pork pie, guys. What's going on? I have been without pork pie for like 13 minutes now. All right, well let's uh, let's fix that. Let's eat a pork pie, take a little lunch, a little lunch break on our fishing, and keep at it here. We got a little golem watching us. He wants a fish. He can't eat it. He can't digest it. He can mush it around in his 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 rocks. And that was not a fish. Moving on. All right, getting the fishies. Yep, getting the fishies. Do we just call it at one hour? This is a very <laughs> taxing on my fingers. Okay, so fisherman, eighteen percent. I don't know if this is leveled up because I have auto learn on. I'll check after this, I guess. Ooh, mysterious stranger. I hate that you're anonymous in the mists. That's one reason I don't like doing them. I want people to know my name. I want people to see me and build relationships, right? Part of playing an MMORPG is getting to know each other. Getting to know who you're playing with. I'm listening for the bobber. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, I haven't leveled up yet. What the, what the frick? <laughs> so, we haven't leveled up in like 40 minutes of fishing. and Man, this is going to take so long to freaking get. Oh, man. Fishing. And yes, I'm aware you can just buy fish and eat them. 
But here's the thing. Without premium, that's a waste of money. And without it being fame week, that's also a waste of money. And I know what you're thinking, but hey, bro, 25% fishing fame is currently on. It does not apply to eating fish. It only applies to fishing them out of the water. Because if it did apply to eating the fish, then I probably would just do that. But here's the thing, the, the difference between tier 7 and tier 8 fishing is not a lot. You're you're not making that much more silver per hour. Um, in yellow zones at least. Yes, I know you need tier 8 fishing to fish tier 8 saltwater fish, but that's for people that own hideouts and go to guilds and play in the black zone. That's not for solo players. That is, uh... My character has a whole lot of different colors going on on his color palette right now. He's got he's got the white fuzzy boots, he's got the white sleeve, he's got the red hat, the yellow scarf. Just I don't know, he is uh <laughs> he's wild looking. That's for sure. At least the hat matches the saddle of the rabbit. You see the reflection of the clouds in the water. It's the only place in the game you can you can look at the sky in Albion is when you're fishing. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Don't know if it's philosophical. Oh, I didn't notice the mist is closing. Dang, I have not been paying attention at all to what's happening around me. Let's go to some fishy holes. There's still a lot of rivers to explore. Like, we barely even made it downstream. Might have to check that one. That's an enchanted bob. Let's just kill it and skin it. Yoinkers. Not worth that much, but hey, it's something. Squeak. Oh, do rabbits squeak in real life? I don't know. I, uh, I actually had a pet rabbit when I was a very small child, and you know what it did? It ran around and chewed all my video game wires, and, uh, those aren't really easy to fix. At all. Like, um, like, ima like a regular Nintendo, like, imagine the power cord, right? Th that gets chewed up, well, guess what? No more power to your Nintendo, no more video games. And then uh, it's like, okay, well, I'm going to go to the library. Well, not me. I was a child. And I'm going to learn how to splice wires together. And then you'll be playing Nintendo and the power would, like, the, the system would, you know, splits out because the wiring was shoddy. And uh, it would turn off in the middle of your game. And back then, games didn't have a save feature. Okay, a very few Nintendo games had a save feature. But uh, you had to start all over again when that happened. It was just very frustrating. Very frustrating indeed. Oh well, though. Luckily, the Super Nintendo came out not too long later. And, um... You know, never got those on launch day, of course. But, um... You know, had to, had to wait until, like, a sale. Or, you know, some some parent, you know, was punishing their child. Uh, it's like, I'm gonna sell my kids Nintendo because they made a B in math class. And then have my parents capitalize on, on that. You know, be like, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Okay, yeah. That's what you get, little Timmy, for getting a B in math class. Like, I can't believe parents are so cruel to their children. That's, that's, like, like, that kind of stuff you, you don't forget. If I was little Timmy, and I had a parent that sold my possessions because I didn't do a perfect grade in school, right, I'm not gonna catch that fish in time. This is this mist is gonna close. I w I would wait until the day where it's like okay, time to put you in a nursing home. Remember that time you <laughs> you you sold the Nintendo because I didn't get a like a I didn't get an A plus or whatever. Yeah, it's revenge time. Look at these look at these ladies throwing their knives at me. I'm just gonna block them. I don't know. It's just, I just felt like it. Okay. I know it's not fishing, I know it's not efficient, but sometimes you just gotta punch people's lights out, <laughs> okay? Okay, YouTube, I'm not talking about real life, I'm talking about a video game. This is not a really good mist, because it's all the water is in the middle of the map. Not not quite a river. Where are we at on our money? We're at 7.71, so we've made like 300k, I think. So that's like three hours of fishing. <laughs> I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> uh, I just don't think I'm going to do that, guys. We'll, uh, we'll let this pork pie, like, go go through, I guess. Maybe. I also overshot this fishing hole. 
Received Trout 2X. Imagine if uh, Albion Online had a screen reader, you know, the little, uh, that new thing all these eight, these new games have where it's like na on screen narrator. You have the little text to speech Blue Scale Pike received 2X. Mysterious Stranger PvP flagged approaching. <laughs> Uh, you have been ganked. You have lost 2.1 million silver. <laughs> Would you like to uninstall? Man, the other day in Albion, I went on a freaking death streak. It felt so bad. And I know you guys, like, uh, some of you guys want the PvP content. You want the Corrupted Dungeons. You want the Black Zone stuff. And and I go out and I do try. And I just kept, oh, the other day, I kept dying and dying and dying and dying. I have... I thrown away at least a couple million <laughs> yesterday, and uh, I just, I lost the spirit to play. I'm like, man, th it's not my lucky day. I'm not playing specs that I'm familiar with. I am just constantly getting dunked on. This feels bad. If I was a new player and this made me broke, I would have uninstalled. I mean, I honestly would have. Luckily for me, I have a little bit of a bankroll. Now, here's the thing, though, guys. I don't currently, ooh, rough logs, get out of here. I don't currently really have a sustained way of making silver anymore. Like, let me explain. I primarily played this game as a farming sim, right? That means growing crops on your island and eventually taking those crops and making potions with them or taking the crops uh, and making food with them. So I have my potion crafters. I have several potion crafter accounts. I have several herb growing accounts. And I also have the max level chef and, uh, you know, crop growers for the chef. Though I tend to not use those so much because of just how being a chef works. Some foods, you know, just get completely maxed out, like flooded with the market. And then you gotta cook some other crap. But because of the price of premium is too damn high, I can't do any of that stuff anymore. I can do the chef. The chef is the only one that will still make silver, but it's like... I pay 18 million... I pay 18 million for a month of premium. The chef takes 15 minutes of my time per day. And then at the end of the 30 days, I've made 30 million silver after paying the 18 million. So I only made like 48 million silver for that amount of work. That's it's not that good. It's just not that like, I don't want to have to do that for only 30 million silver. <laughs> And I know some people are out there like, wow, 30 million silver, I could buy everything I want, ever want. It's like, mm. 8.4 items are like 20 to 30 million. There's, there's bolt casters on the market right now, 30 million. I would have to play 15 minutes a day, 30 days straight, on a maximum level chef, to get one weapon. It's not even Masterpiece. That sucks. That, that does not feel good, that is not fun. And, uh... For fame farming, it's 12 million silver per hour is how much that I burn through with static group dungeons. That is a lot. 12, like, if I played 15 minutes a day for 30 days, I've got two and a half, maybe three hours if I'm lucky, worth of static dungeon farming that I could do. Which would max out one and a half weapons. So, because I don't grow crops, I don't cook, I don't make potions anymore... I have to gather, but gathering is at an all-time low. It's even lower because you don't have premium, as you've seen in some of my videos. Let's see, that is, uh, that's not a fish, okay. Man, those fishing holes got emptied fast. Hmm, let's see. It's all this guy's fault. He missed the fishing hole, so I'm gonna get it. Oh, I missed it too. There we go. I got it, haha. Uh -huh. Yoinkers, my fish. Nee, 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 nee. I wish, <laughs> I wish this game had voice chat. I'm gonna be saying that in every video now because it's something I truly believe in. Yoink, gotcha. I, I finished first. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, that's right. I've got this route. Oh man, fishing PvP guys. I think there's a YouTube prankster that did that. Like he went to random like beaches in Australia and he was like fishing around people and pissing them off. Oh, that was a Frank Castle video too. Yeah. He went to the beach and he just like stood around fishermen and until they like bullied him. It was so funny. Very good stuff. Where are we at? 7.74. This journal is about halfway. Very cool. Halfway journal. So we'll either 
Guys, I'm sorry, but we're gonna end the video either when the second journal fills or the pork pie runs out. Whichever comes last. Because this is tedious. This isn't this is hurting my hand. I I don't have the mental fortitude to do fishing. I know there's other YouTubers out there, they'll fish all damn day, they'll they'll do a 12 hour livestream where they only fish. And I don't know how they do it. I just <laughs> This is, it's not fun. It is, it is physically painful. <laughs> but hey, you know, some of you guys, maybe, you know, you want to see how much money could you make fishing? Wow. Like, I always get asked that all the time, especially new players are like, well, what about fishing? I heard fishing is really good. I heard Reddit. Reddit told me fishing is the best thing you could possibly do, guys. No, it isn't. <laughs> There's no reason it is. I right clicked. Fishing is, ugh. <laughs> fishing, yeah, that's right. Fishing is, ugh. <laughs> Ew, you fish? Gross. Get away. <laughs> hmm. You know, you know what would be really cool? If uh, MMORPGs had trade skills, and I don't mean like armor crafting and blacksmithing and fletchery. I mean like plumber <laughs> and electrician. <laughs> Uh, that, you, just stuff like that, right? Imagine you're a virtual plumber. <laughs> you, you get to go into the sewer level and you get a movement speed bonus or something. I don't know, man. It's like, oh, I'm a plumber in, in, uh, New York Online. <laughs> uh, it's like, I maxed out guns, I maxed out, um, gangstery, and I maxed out plumbing as my trade skill. And then you could run around and you could fix people's plumbing and their, uh, you know, their their homes or whatever like it's like you check on your laborers in albion and it's like well the, the laborer is on strike because um the sink is overflowing or something and it's like okay gotta go get a plumber to fix it and then you have to like spam the chat hey i need a plumber come to my house help me and then you have the furniture crafters that are like just buy a new sink just delete the old sink and buy a new one and then people are like uh buff plumbing buff it we need more. Players are just deleting their sinks instead of calling us. Plumbing needs a nerf. It makes too much silver. Whoa, now. That's close. Did y'all see that? I took a sip. I took a, I took a sip of a drink, and I almost lost the fish. Oh, man. See, and that hurts too. Like, I can feel it in my chest. I can feel the heartburn surging. The acid, it wants to escape my body. Just like my skeleton. My skeleton wants to, to escape. So does the acid in my stomach. Why is this the case? How can this be? Look at this guy picking up rocks above me. This little dude, he's like, he's just like picking up rocks. He's having the time of his life, dude. He picks up the rocks, he looks at it, he throws it over his shoulder or into his backpack. He is a rock collector. That is his... He's out here gathering, man. When we kill the heretics, you know, we get the fame. He's throwing in, in his little bag on the side there. He's actually pretty good at, you know, collecting the rocks. And the fact that his rocks... Look, I'm paying attention to him and I almost broke the line. That's why fishing sucks. Because you have to stare at this stupid spot on your screen. And I don't have one of those ergonomic... Um, what is it called? Office setups. Like, I'm using a, a fold-out $60 Walmart table as my computer desk um and i'm using an old wooden dinner table chair as my gamer chair right i don't have some leathery gamer racer chair i'm using a dinner table chair and the height difference to this desk and the chair is not optimal so my eyeballs like if i sit up straight my eyeballs my, my eyes are at a higher height at least by a whole foot than the monitor so like when i'm playing albion or any I'm just using the computer I'm bending my neck downwards and like tucking my chin in and uh, that's how that's how and because like the the fishing bobber is at the kind of the bottom part of the monitor I'm having to look even further downward so uh, yeah it's a crick in the neck basically <laughs> just so you guys get the visual of how much um, punishment and pain that I go through making these videos for you guys Ooh, little rabbit he's sniffing the water and not a fish. The nose knows. The rabbit. Oh, there's a chest and there's um, a tier 5 fiber thing going on. 
I think I might go to that. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Is the chest available? Yes, it is. If no one's grabbing that, I'm going to... You know, that, that could be 100k. That could be a million. That could actually make the video right there. Because we have not been doing objectives at all. I, I feel kind of bad. Sometimes the, the yellow zone chests are amazingly good. And the fights aren't bad either. Even in eight, full 8.4, you fight other 8.4s and the fights are good. That guy is heavily wounded? What the hell? Weird. Why was that guy so hurt? Is there someone here? Oh, that, that looks... Yeah, it's 8-3 bow. I ain't messing with that. Uh, there it is. Oh, that's that's free. Look at that. Get some sky flower. <laughs> I know it's a fishing video, but I'm taking this. This is just free. I have the pork pie going, but I'm only getting well, I got two two there. Two there. This is not gonna be that much money. Like this is what, two thousand silver? Let's see. Two point it's it's gonna be seven point five thousand silver, guys. Calm your jets. <laughs> Cool your jets. You don't calm a jet, you cool it. Because you don't want it to overheat, right? I guess that's how that works. I feel like there should be way more of these that spawn. Let's check YouTube comments while we harvest. Man, I got a lot of replies. It's really hard. Guys, whenever you reply to one of my comments instead of leaving a fresh one, it's hard as hell to see on YouTube. Not gonna lie. Let's see. Uh, a lot of people... Can y'all stop commenting about joining the Discord? The, the Discord is set up where it's immediately easy to pass if you're the right person. It's it's like, you go to if you take a 4chaner... And you have them do the Discord questionnaire, they pass immediately. They pass in like two minutes. It's a no-brainer for them. For normal people, it's impossible to pass. That's how it's designed to be. Oh, let's get that fish and read comments at the same time. Really hard to do without snapping the line. Because I'm doing it by ear, which you can't really do this by ear, but whatever. <laughs> hmm. Uh, some people were wondering about the mule video. So let's talk about the mule video. Okay, so channel members got the mule video like 11 or 12 days early before it got leaked. So if they chose to do it, you know, they they got ahead of the bell curve. They made their millions of silver. I didn't choose to sell any mules. I used the mules. I didn't want to ruin the economy. And uh, I knew someone eventually would leak it. So I figured if I just hold on to the mules until... SBI makes it where you can only take one mule with you, make it unique or something, you know, out of the out of the tutorial. Because that's really how it should be. Like, you shouldn't be able to take a bajillion mules with you. You shouldn't even be able to take, like, five or six. That's really stupid. Like, lore-wise, that makes no sense. <laughs> but, um, you know. So I think they're going to do something to make it where you can only have one mule. And then after, like, say, a year of that being the case, mules will be pretty expensive. If anything, they should be more expensive than a freaking horse because it takes 15 minutes minimum to get one mule, whereas a horse, you can breed the hell out of them on hundreds of islands per day. Like, that's just the truth. And yes, a mule is not as useful as a horse. They're slower, they don't carry as much weight, but they are more time-consuming to get. Theoretically, you know, not AFK, whereas, you know, yeah, a horse takes like, what, a few days to grow or something? But you can, you can mass produce them. You can't mass produce donkeys, mules. You can't in the future is what I'm predicting. But yeah, someone, someone leaked it, and a lot, a lot of people don't realize, you know, it, I'm not the guy that figured this stuff out. I, I thought I gave credit to Dark Lord, you know, in the comments section for being the one to, um, to technically leak it in the first place, right? <laughs> but, um, I guess people miss that. I don't know. Let's see. I get a lot of negative comments on my short videos. People really hate Yellow Zone PvP. It's faction- like, I'm always faction flagged in it. There's nothing wrong with being faction flagged in the Yellow Zone. That's part of the game. It's a really good source of uh, faction points, for one. There's no reason not to, to, to do fa Yellow Zone faction PvP, but people are super elitist. Hmm. 
it, I don't and, and shorts don't get a lot of comments anyway because, well, that's just how shorts are. I hear flapping. Weird. I guess there's an enemy nearby that's, like, winged. The new owl mounts suck, guys. The new owl mounts are terrible. Uh, that's not a fish. Let's see. Oh, I got someone... Hey, someone's commenting on one of my fishing videos. That's funny, because it's fishing day. Um, and they're talking about the pork pie thing. I... Used to, here's the thing with the pork pies, guys, with fit with fishing. Back in the day, pork pie did not affect fishing, which I don't think it was ever supposed to. It was supposed to be seaweed salad was the go-to food for fishing. But at some point, it started, like, pork pie did work for fishing. And all the fishermen, you go to all the fishermen YouTube channels, they all say it does. And um, I've even tested it myself, you know, like, I've done one hour with and without pork pie. And, uh, yeah, it's, it works. <laughs> it's, uh, might as well eat that over the, uh, the seafood salad. And it's not just some weird Reddit, like, um, gaslight to sell more pork pies. I'm a chef myself. I'm not trying to sell pork pies. Let's see if I can get one more before it closes. 50 seconds. Oh, no. How long have we been at? One hour and six minutes. And I don't feel like my money has moved all that much. I think we've made 400000 in one hour. Dear God. Yeah, I'm not going two hours. I can't. This is torture. This is absolute torture, guys. But we will fill up the second journal. You know, it's almost there. And then when this pork pie runs out in like six minutes, I'm going to call it there. I just, I can't. I can't keep doing this, guys. You can't make me do it. I refuse. 13 seconds. I don't think I'm getting this one. Oh, maybe. Ooh, nine seconds. Eight. Seven. Yeah, we got this. Cutting it real close here with this one, though. All right, and then we get kicked out. That is, uh, that's pretty tight timing there. Hey, what are you looking at, punk? Ooh, put them in this torso. This midsection. There we go. Imagine dying to nine punches. You get punched nine times. Uh, well, uh, okay, to be fair, yes, these things look pretty brutal. You know, they look pretty darn rough. I wouldn't want to get punched by them. Especially when someone can punch the air in front of them and send a shockwave that rips your flesh apart. So yeah, I guess serious business, right? Some anime stuff. It's like those old 80s animes. Wow, this mist is terrible. I'm just going to leave. Yeah, no rivers. Only one corner of the map had water. No thanks. There was another mist nearby. I heard it. So I got to like look. Oh, there it is. Hello. It just spawned right in front of me. And there we go. Let's hopefully this one has better water. Yep. We got a river. Oh, yeah. And the skinning section. I think we've been on this map already, I feel like. Been there, done that. But now we're on the other side. We're on the west side. West side fishermen stepping it up. When I was a kid, there was so much stuff in school telling us not to join gangs and be criminals. But, like, I think it just made kids want to become criminals. Because you have a bunch of obnoxious adults telling you not to do something. They were like, yeah, we're the cop. Like, they would have real police come into the schools and, like, lecture us about not joining gangs for hours. Like, we would, they would hold assemblies for the whole school. And police would scream at us and tell us don't join gangs or they'll arrest us and stuff, right? And, you know, I never joined a gang because I'm a minority where I'm from. And so, um, they don't like me because of that. <laughs> But also because I don't want to be a criminal, you know? I don't think crime pays. I don't like the lifestyle. I, I've never enjoyed keeping company around criminals, you know? So, um, I, I didn't need school to tell me not to do it, right? But for everyone else, right? Like, the cops would come and they'd be like, Listen, ch listen, you little twerps. You little pipsqueaks. I better not catch you in any gangs or I'm going to arrest you and your life's going to be ruined forever. Like, that's literally how they talk to us. They use scare tactics and, you know, intimidation. And, and the kids, you know, the ones that 
and did end up joining gangs. They're like, yo, fool, whatever, man. Like, I ain't doing that shit, dog. You know, whenever the cop is around. And then, like, after they would leave, they're like, yeah, man, I'm going to join a gang the first. First chance I get. As soon as I'm old enough, <laughs> you know. It's good money, bro. You get lots of friends. You get to hang out in cool places. And it's like, <laughs> you do you, man. I don't, I don't give a shit. Ugh. They would also have the cops, you know, come in and tell kids not to do drugs, and... And th the place I lived at, like, all the kids were already on drugs. And, and you could tell. Like, the cop knew, but he still had to go through the... Through the lesson, right? And, uh... <laughs> it's funny, because there was, like, one time... Um, where, it, like, like the, the way it worked where I'm from is that they would randomly do, like, fingerprint collection to all the students. And there was, like, one day I was legitly sick, and I stayed home from school that day. And I was, like, the only kid in my class absent that day. And, oh boy, did I get a lot of shit for it from the teachers and the police. They were like, why are you absent that day? Why are you, why are you skipping out? Why, why weren't you here for the fingerprint thing? I'm like, I didn't even know there was a fingerprint thing. It's not like you guys tell us this. I wasn't, like, trying to be absent on purpose. I was sick. Oh, do you have a doctor's note? Do you have a doctor's note? I was like, no, I don't have a doctor's note. I'm a kid, and that costs money. I'm poor. What are you... I just stayed home. Well, what'd you do all day? Uh, I don't know, played Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> what the hell you want me to say? Right? Like, that was not a fish. But... They were, they were brutal. That was, uh... Speaking of, like... Oh, man, like... the Like, the students who had parents for cops... Were the most obnoxious douchebag kids ever. And, um, like, I would, like, people were scared of them, right? Like, okay, so people always, like, want to, like, judge me at, on Reddit, and so they're like, oh, he was bullied, or he's a school bully, he's a bad person. I was a meta bully, so let's talk about what that is. I, it's, it's a school bully that bullies bullies, right? Because bullying innocent people is not cool. You know, there's no reason to bully people that didn't do anything wrong. But, if you bully a bully, it's PvP. It's fair game. It's like, you're becoming the alpha chat of the bullies, right? And so, like, some of the bullies, you know, their parents were police. There was one who was like, uh, I don't think he was police chief. He might have been? I, I don't know, but like, he started some crap and everyone was like, Oh, you can't touch him because his dad's a cop, blah blah blah. I'm like, I don't give a shit. As soon as he hits me, like, it's on. And he never would hit me. Like, I was the only kid to stand up to him, right? And uh, I would always get him in trouble, too, because that, that, that was part of being a meta bully. I'm not saying being a snitch, but you, get, you agitate them so much that they do something in front of school staff that the school staff has to do something to stop them um, and, and punish them and send them home or, you know, give them extra homework or whatever it is. And so uh, you just agitate and, and annoy them verbally or... You know, just with something that you know pisses them off, like chewing gum loudly or, you know, bringing up their stupid t-shirt or something <laughs> ridiculous. A until they lose their cool and then snap at you, right? And 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 that was part of the fun. But, um, like, years later, like, uh, when I'm working in retail and, you know, bad part of the hood, right? So they have a, an actual police officer guarding the store. And, uh, you know, one night I'm, I'm helping close and, and the cop is helping me, you know, like, guard me while I grab money out of the registers to put into a safe. And he's like, hey, you know, you went to school with my son. I'm like, oh, did I? <laughs> he's like, yeah, you would always get my son in trouble, too. And I was like, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> right? I'm sort of getting a little worried here. And I was like, well, y you know, you know, he started it, right? He started it. He's like, yeah, I know. My son's a dickhead. <laughs> Uh, so now I have this cop dad that's like telling me about how shitty his son is and how his son was always like a, like a, you know, just, just a troublemaker of sorts. He was always cool to me. He would always back me up. He would always take my side on things. So, so the dad was actually cool, man. Like, but, but, but his son was not. It was so funny, man. <laughs> I don't know what the kid is doing these days. I don't look people up or anything, but, um, that would be really, that would be like... Bull meta bullying in in the adult years. Hey, so uh, I talked to your dad, and your uh, your dad says, you know, he takes my side. So no, 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 no. <laughs> he would just look at me and be like, "Bro, we're adults. I don't care anymore. <laughs> grow up. I'll never grow up." 
I bully people on a video game called Albion Online. <laughs> I beat them up in the yellow zone. Uh, good times. Alright, so our pork pie is officially run out. And our journal is nearly filled. This is not a fish. Why am I fishing it? Jeez. Oh no. This guy is a fishing. I don't know why I said a fishing. He's he's a fishing. You guys see the new Mario movie? What do you think about the Mario movie, dudes? Got Seth Rogen as uh, Donkey Kong. Like, that kind of ruins it a little bit there. Like, people don't like him. Especially... Do you guys know the, the controversy over that Christmas movie they made? It was like him and um, some 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 girl, Sarah Silverman. Yeah, they made like this Christmas movie that was like very distasteful, and it pissed off the internet. Okay, we we filled up the second journal. Our pork pie is done. Let's just finish up this fishing hole here, and then we'll see how much we made. One hour and fifteen minutes. Around this time, we made one million silver through skinning, and it was way less hand crampy and way less attention taking. So let's see how much we made with fishing, and then call it a day. And I know I didn't finish my conversation about the Christmas movie, but like, apparently it got taken off all the streaming sites. Or I'm sorry, streaming services, because of how distasteful it was. I'm sure it's still up on the streaming sites, but you know, whatever. Alright, let's finish up here, get this fishy. And uh, our number is 7.94, not looking good. Ooh, what is that? Tier 5 wood. I want it. I'm gonna go get the tier 5 wood. And then we'll call it. <laughs> it's like, no one goes for those. Right? Now, here's the thing. Like, if you if you ca carried... Not cathered. What the hell is that word? I made I made a new word, guys. If you cathered... Wow, we, we've invented a new word. It's carry gather. If you've cathered... I'm grabbing that. Okay, so... If you carried every gathering gear on you and swapped it out, it would never stack to 10 because you'd be swapping too damn much. Like, if I started all the way at the bottom of the map and put on a lumberjack set, by the time I got up here, it would only be at like 3 stacks. Oh boy, you're stealing my trees, dog. Stealing my trees. Well, I'm a, I'm a tier 8 lumberjack, so I'm gonna get some of these. Let's see, I think he gets the... No, I got the last hit, okay. Uh-huh, I got the last hit. No, 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 no. Uh, I need a game with voice chat, guys. I'm losing my mind. I know I said at the start of the video, we're gonna fish until one million silver, and it would take two hours, but I don't want to. I, I, I don't, I legit, come on, just be happy with the one hour video, alright? I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> Going crazy here. Going nuts. Going bonkers, and yes, I could have eaten another, you know, pork pie, but here's the thing. If you're fishing without journals, you're fishing heavily inefficiently, so I shouldn't fish without journals, for one. 9k repair bill. Let's go bank our tools and see how much we earned in one hour and 15 minutes. So that's one hour with pork pies and then 15 minutes without. Uh, no, give me the logs back. Oh, jeez. That's terrible. 576,000 silver in one hour and 15 minutes. And that's also with gathering other crap, too. Not very good. So it would be, um... I don't... We'll just say 76,000 took 15 minutes. I don't... Man, let's let's do a little bit of math here. I'm, I'm still waking up. I don't... I don't feel like doing math, but, um... 75 minutes divided... 576,000 silver divided by 75 minutes is 7,680 silver per minute. Okay, so you take a million silver divided by that amount, and it would take 130 minutes. I divide that by 60, so 2 hours and 17 minutes, uh, 2.717 hours. So that would be one-fifth of an hour, about, it's not really, a little less, but, um, I don't know, 13 minutes... Two hours, 13, we'll say two hours, 15 minutes. We'll round it up because of all these stupid numbers. Two hours and 15 minutes to make a million silver on fishing with tier 7 set without premium on fishing bonus day. There you go. That's the video. I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay soul. Buy the rabbit. Buy the Carolion Cottontail from me. It's got crafted by me on it. I need the silver so I can fame farm or something. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully our topics discussed today weren't too wild and wacky and crazy. 
Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Click the join button down below. I've got some cool members-only videos up there about um, the new capes and stuff, uh, some really interesting builds, some one-shot builds. If you like one-shot builds, I've never seen any other YouTubers make videos on these one-shot builds, so that's why it's members-only. Click the video on the right side of your screen. I'll see you next time. Take care.